A new report shows that many children living in Kampala and neighboring urban areas are stunted compared to their counterparts in rural areas. The report on the emerging global challenges of climate change was launched in Kampala. It presents the effects of climate change and the vulnerability of Ugandan children. 58% of the urban children are either stunted or are underweight. Now the most interesting drama here is that actually 10% of the children of the wealth, of the upper quartile, the rich people, are stunted and underweight. That when a child experiences a drought, when he's between zero and one, by the time he's two or three, he's three times more likely to be, he or she, is three times more likely to be stunted. The joint study was conducted by UNICEF, the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, Kampala Capital City Authority, and the National Planning Authority. The report indicates that drought due to climate change would most likely leave children stunted due to inadequate food. Girls were found to be more vulnerable. It could be a good idea to target households with children in the first six months of their life or to prioritize households with children in the first six months of their life. It notes that a significant number of children in Kampala live in poor households. We also know that urban children have unique and acute risks. The study also found that due to rapid climate changes in Uganda, temperatures are predicted to rise to unprecedented levels in the next 20 years. We see, or by the 2030s, we see that the temperature could further increase by up to another one and a half degrees. It would lead to crop failure, food supply constraints, and ultimately affects children's nutrition. I need 68 billion shillings to feed the population in one day. The report speaks to policymakers on emerging challenges and how to address the effects of climate change on children. Jingo Francis, NTV.